to make some tough decisions it right now. so frightening. Yeah, and this rescue is treacherous work. A former Thai Navy SEAL diver died overnight from lack of oxygen. Yeah, New Six's Amanda Castro went to Marion County to ask a local dive team about underwater rescues. You have to be calm, you know, even in under the water. That's, that's the main thing is to not panic. On land, Corporal Matthew Hooper with the Marion County Sheriff's Office protects the community with his canine partner, Rambo. And he's doing the same thing underwater. He's been part of the dive team for three years, going out on numerous calls to recover people and evidence. He says one of the most dangerous parts of the job is not knowing what you're diving into. We train for just about anything to go wrong uh, that will go wrong, but it could be uh, equipment, communication, um, it may be wildlife uh, out there as well. Um, it just it just depends on uh, the nature of the dive and the location, and we just uh, adjust to it accordingly and uh, to accomplish the mission. The Marion County Dive Team does not dive in any underwater caves, similar to the one that the Thai soccer team is trapped in. Hooper says instead they work with divers who are specially trained to dive in local caves, adding caves can be extremely dangerous. There's also unknowns in the cave as far as the light, your visibility, um, silt could stir up. Um, so most caves, they do have a guideline, uh, but again, you need proper lighting, training, equipment, and experience uh, before uh, going into those caves. In Marion County, Amanda Castro, News 6.